A Broadway power couple in quarantine, Orfe and Andy Carl have been Tony nominees, Grammy nominees, and now a new chapter. We talked about how they've gotten creative during the Broadway shutdown. First of all, how are you? Because we were, we were talking about doing a segment of couples in quarantine, and I went, oh, I know the couple. So, <laughs> how's it been? You know. Uh... I mean, this is not something you wish and pray for, for, <laughs> for togetherness and bonding time. Oh, like, this is great. But, you know, like, we're just talking about, like, how, how do we have date nights anymore? It's sort of like. It's have been inside. Creatively, how are you doing? Because I feel like creativity comes from this. There were always things that we wanted to do and we thought about doing and we thought, oh, maybe we'd be good at this. Maybe this is something we should, you know, explore. But this forced our hands to explore other avenues. So we optioned a book, we wrote a pilot, we write a lot of stuff. He's writing a movie and we're good at it. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> we're that but that's great, but it's nice to have that time because you, you always do ask that question, like, what if I have the time to... So talk about the book that you optioned because that's that's kind of exciting. We have it's show and tell. Yeah. We optioned this book called The Dancer by Eric Bernat and about 20 pages in, 20 pages in, I was like, oh, I'm gonna figure out a way to option this book because you know, I'm such a mogul. Right. Um, literally was like, I'm gonna option this book. I'm gonna turn this book into a series, into an anthology, into some like, you know, really kind of noir-y, Netflix-y, you know, whatever. And hopefully sometime in the near future, after all of this, we'll be able to cast and start shooting and, you know, making jobs for a lot of amazing artists. And that's the most important thing right now because I know there are so many, so many artists that are trying to figure out what, you know, what's next. Yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're we're recruiting a lot of people. I've been writing a lot of music too, and uh, I, I call my friends and I'll, I'll throw them a couple bucks on Venmo. Like, thanks, I appreciate it. I don't have much, but here you go. And they're happy to do it. Um, I think that's the thing. Something with like with the dancer, the book, um, and with writing music, that kind of stuff. People are um, chomping at the bit to be creative. And if, if we can be a part of that and, and sort of giving people an outlet to uh, be creative that way, it's amazing. And the dancer is so packed with great characters. It's going to be one of, a great epic story about uh, New York uh, during it's, the 80s. It's like the 50s and the 80s. It's like crazy. What about music? You said you're writing music. And had you, had you always done that or no? Done yeah. it for a long time. Really long I mean, time. obviously we've been musicians. Right for our careers, so I've just been real busy with shows, and now that I'm not, uh, it's, it gives me time to really go after the passion. Do you guys just sing during the day, like if you're in the kitchen making dinner, do you just... Past couple of weeks, we've been uh, waking up every morning, and to get our butts out of bed, we dance. A and lot. It, like a, one, one, so, one dance track. And we're in the <laughs> living room dancing, the dog staring at us, but I tell you what, I have a better outlook on the day. Seriously. I, and I and I hate it. I wake up like, oh, okay, click. <laughs> so I love that. So random. It's something we just said. Oh, let's try this. Let's elevate the mood. Let's elevate the spirit. It it, it works. It's a pain in the everything, but it works. You're like a Broadway thought leader. <laughs>